We're hearing tonight from the New Mexico State University Chancellor for the first time about the allegations of hazing involving the men's basketball team. Good evening, I'm Carla Draxler and thank you so much for joining us. Chancellor Dana Rizzo saying in a statement that NMSU strictly prohibits hazing in all forms and it's something the school won't tolerate. Our sports director Colin Deaver joining us now live. Colin, the Aggies did not play today's game with California Baptist and instead they flew back home after the program was suspended indefinitely and every coach placed on paid administrative leave. Now Colin, do we know tonight what these hazing allegations entail? Yeah, Carla, we are expecting a police report, which was filed Friday to be released to the media at some point on Super Bowl Sunday. But multiple sources telling KTSM tonight that some of these hazing allegations involve allegations of a sexual nature. Obviously, if that is true, I would expect New Mexico State's Board of Regents, the chancellor, whoever else is in charge of things over there to take very swift action. Now, the reason I say that stems from Chancellor Arvizu's statement released tonight. It's long, so we've only included part of it here. You can read the whole statement on our website, ktsm.com. Arvizu said the decision to suspend the program was his and also goes on to say, quote, hazing is a despicable act. Sadly, hazing can become part of an organization's culture if left unchecked. NMSU policy strictly prohibits hazing in all forms and it's something we simply will not tolerate end quote. Now that is very strong verbiage and could indicate indicate swift action may be taken if these allegations turn out to be true. As Carla said off the top NMSU's game tonight versus California Baptist was canceled due to the suspension of the program. The team instead arrived back in the borderland this morning at the airport. We tried to speak to head coach Greg Heyer and a few players, but they declined comment from there. The Aggies went to Las Cruces where they were immediately met and inter interviewed by University University personnel regarding the hazing allegations. Then later in the afternoon, a pair of NMSU players announcing that they were leaving the program, entering the transfer portal as a part of these uh, due to the alleg allegations. Redshirt Shahar Lazar and walk on Kent Olaweiler both posted on social media their plans to leave the program and Lazar had a scathing final message. Check this out. In part, his quote said, I was raised on the values of excellence, discipline, respect, reliability and accountability. However, in retrospect, I I don't believe the program I committed to currently aligns with my beliefs and core values. End quote. That is some strong wordage from a former member of the Israeli military. Now, all of these hazing allegations, of course, have absolutely nothing to do with a separate ongoing investigation regarding a deadly shooting on November 19th in Albuquerque involving Aggies forward Michael Peak and four UNM students. It's all happening congruently, and according to former NMSU Regent Bob Gallagher, the results could be catastrophic for the university. What happened in the last couple of weeks is indescribable and, and it's disgusting. And, uh, and when it all comes out publicly, uh, the people are going to be absolutely disgusted and people are going to be looking for answers. And we might get some of those answers tomorrow if the police report is released like we've been told it will. Again, Greg Heyer and his entire coaching staff were placed on paid administrative leave on Friday evening. The program remains suspended indefinitely. There is a closed Board of Regents meeting at NMSU scheduled for Tuesday. You'd have to imagine they might be discussing some of this. However, an NMSU official told me that any personnel decisions, whether it's a termination, what have you, none of those can actually be, those decisions can be made in a closed meeting they must be made in an open session of the Board of Regents. So at least on Tuesday, that may not be happening. But of course, this story is ever evolving. Carla, we will continue to have it covered for you on KTSM.